when should I go for group by clauses? Say if I want to display the data saying that I have so many number of male employees and so many number of female employees. So whenever I have the concept of grouping, so if I want to count number of males and number of females in a single query, I need to make two groups, one group of male, another group of females. In the same way, if I, if I want to count the number of employees in each department, I need to make groups according to the department. I'll say this is department 1, so number of employees in department 1, department 2, number of employees in department 2, so on. So whenever I have the concept of grouping the people and performing some aggregate functions on them, like count, say I want to find the amount of salary being paid to each department. So I need to group it by department. Say department 1, I will sum all the salaries of all the employees of department 1. Department 2 and I'll sum the salaries of all the employees of department 2. So whenever I want to perform some aggregate operations depending upon a condition then I go for group by clauses like finding the sum of salaries to each department, average salaries to each department, number of employees in each department. Say if I have an online shopping cart application, I want to count the number of customers from each city. Uh, so say, there are uh, plenty of examples that you can take where you need group by clause. And it is very simple. Now what I want, I want to write a query which should display me gender, say male and number of males, female and number of females. So I'll say select E gender. from tbl underscore employee this will give me male female male female all the genders now if I say comma count of star as number of employees and execute this let's see what it says it throws an exception saying that invalid select statement because either an aggregate function or the group by clause select list because it is not either in aggregate function or in group by clause it says that you cannot have one column and an aggregate function without group by clause. If you want, you can only have aggregate function which counts all the employees or if you want, you can have only column which displays all the genders but if you are going for this combination, you should definitely group it by group it by the column name whatever you have there and let's see the result it says female there are three male there are seven this is very simple the concept of group group by clause whenever you have a normal column and an aggregate function you should always go grouping it by the column now let me copy this Test it here. If I say instead of count sum of e salary as sum of salaries, I execute this, it will give me female is getting so much amount of salaries and males, the sum of salary to of all the males is this. Copy this, paste it here. Now, instead of sum, if I take average, I can get the average salaries of all the employees. And, comma, if I put even this, 
which says counting the number of employees. Now I have female and the average salary is so and so and there are so many number of females. Male average salary is so and so and there are so many number of males. Now I'll copy this, paste it here, and execute this. This will show me gender and number of employees of that particular gender. If I add DID here, that is nothing but DEPID, sorry, DEPID. DPT ID and execute this it should throw an exception it should throw an error saying that DPT ID should be in group by clause or it should be an aggregate function so I'll simply put DPT ID also in group by clause and execute this let's see what it says that's good I have two employees whose department is null and in department 1000 the number of females are 1. In department 1000, number of males are 3. In department 1001, number of females are 1. In department 1001, number of males are 3. That means I have a group and a subgroup. First of all, I am splitting all the departments. So department 1, department 2, department 3. And each department, I am splitting two groups. One is males and females. So in this way, I can extend this thing to any level I can have one two three four five subgroups as per my requirement this is very simple group by clauses now I'll just copy this paste it here execute this I'm getting the sum of salaries if I want to arrange it as per the sum of salaries and if I say order by SOS and execute this so it has arranged it in the order ascending that is minimum salaries on top if I say DESC now I'll get the highest salary on highest sum of salary on top so I can order it in this way now if I want the sum of salaries of only males I can definitely put a where clause here where e gender equals to male but it gives a green red line let's see what it says incorrect syntax near where so do remember that whenever you have a WHERE clause and GROUP BY clause combination WHERE clause should always come before GROUP BY clause now I'll execute this I'll get the sum of salaries of only males if I write F I'll get the sum of salaries of only females now I'm putting a WHERE clause on employee gender now if I want the sum of salaries of those gender whose sum of salaries is greater than 30,000 so if I write SOS greater than 30,000 it is not at all going to work why aliasing column can be used in order by clause but aliasing column cannot be used in where clause so what is that I should do aliasing column which is generated from aggregate functions can never be used with where clause I should use it with having clause having and I should use the aggregate function as it is here sum of employee salaries greater than 30,000 and let me execute this 
that is male so do remember where clause is used to filter the columns whereas having clause is used to filter those columns that we have generated using some functions some aggregate functions so I can use having clause and this order is very very important and here I'll say where a gender is equals to male now I have two conditions they should be male and the salary should be greater than 30,000 definitely I'll get this record just for your understanding I have used all the clauses in this I have where clause I have group by clause I have having clause I have order by clause so whenever I have all these clauses this order should be followed I should have where clause first followed by group by clause then having clause then order by clause so I normally use this formula W G H O which means where group by having order by so no confusions in the interview they may confuse you asking questions like can I have uh, group by clause after having clause can I have where clause after order by clause and XYZ blah 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 so do remember this order is very important so in this way you can use group by clauses thank you very much